The concept of the Inundipod started with the idea of taking our existing laboratory in instrumentation and packaging it in a form that we can uh, install it on airborne platforms. The first attempt was at a deployment in Pardefontein where we installed one of our, our EW systems inside a lightweight aircraft and flew it against a radar cross-section radar. The initial testing involved generating false targets, which was extremely successful. The next step was to package the system in a form that we can mount the system on either a helicopter platform or a fighter jet platform. Because there was nothing available from industry, we engaged with Epsilon Engineering Services as well as Aeronautical Systems at CSIR to find out whether they can help us in developing a pod, a pod such as this. The initial reaction from industry was that uh, they laughed at us and said we couldn't develop a pod in under three years. We eventually decided to use Aeronautical Systems at CSIR to help us design the outer structure of the pod. When the radio and electronic warfare people approached us about designing the pod, I immediately realized that this would be a very challenging project. Because they, they intended to take laboratory electronics and put them in the, in the fast jet flight environment. We looked at the different kinds of stores that were integrated on the aircraft that we were, we were interested in, and we chose the, the BL-755 um, weapon as the basis for the outer shape and the mesh properties of our pot. And, and it was also a relatively large store, so we had the volume for the electronics. And we, we specifically designed the pot around that store. So the, so the pot has had the same, same weight and inertia and very much the same shape as that store. And, um, and that has already paid enormous dividends in, in terms of integrating the store onto the aircraft. The, the pod is intended to be flown both on um, civil certified aircraft as well as military aircraft in, in air forces. So we, we've designed the pod from the outset to comply with both the civil and military standards. We completed the design process that both the preliminary and the detailed design of the pod in just one year. The initial design for the pod outer structure was performed by Aeronautical Systems and is now contracted to Epsilon to perform the detailed design as well as the manufacturing. Epsilon Engineering did the structural design of the nose cone as well as the main body, the tail, the ECU or the environmental control unit as well as all the internal structure of the frames. The first test we did was the hail test for the nose cone. We developed an in-house hail propelling system and uh, we made our own little hail pallets and we did the test and it was very exciting and at the end of the day we manufactured a nose cone which is suitable for the job. The other test we did all the structural tests uh, on we developed a whiffle tree um, on, on all the frames to simulate all the loads on the pod. And we also did uh, tests on the, on, on the ECU, the Environmental Control Unit, uh, to characterize it and to develop it further. Inundi is a Zulu word for moth. The main reason we chose the word Inundi for the pod is that uh, taga moths uh, emit a clicking sound when a bird hones in on them. So they emit a sound to jam the bird's sonar signal. So the bed, when it comes to intercept, it actually misses because of the clicking sound, which is a natural example for Jamie. I think we're close to a historic um, moment in our history. Um, I think in the history of uh, the CSR, uh, for more than one reason, um, I think we're about to surprise the world with what we're going to demonstrate uh, here today. Um, we're close to the test flight of a very unique system. In Nundu is, is going to be a platform that's going to take us um, into a new environment. It's an airborne EW test platform that allows us to actually evaluate uh, technology uh, on a fast jet. It will allow us to take um, electronics uh, from the lab into the air in a very cost-effective way. It will give us an advantage in terms of the research we can perform, but also uh, the kind of training applications we can uh, support, as well as um, test evaluation applications. Bringing together technology that we have developed over more than 20 years um, and combining that with 
unique aerodynamic um, design, integrating it onto a, a platform that I believe gives us a unique capability in the world. Its main uh, uh, objective is for training and simulations. So we simulate electronic warfare electronics or for training in electronics warfare environment. That, and for example, we can do anti-jamming simulations or uh, radar jamming simulations. The purpose of today's test flight is to look at the structural integrity of the pod and to look at the integration aspects of the pod on the aircraft. that we'll be doing is looking at the longitudinal and the lateral directional stability of the aircraft, both static and dynamically. We'll look at uh, things like long periods and short periods. We look at steady heading side slips. All of these in an effort to place as much loading on the pod itself and the contents of the pod to verify the structural integrity. In today's specific flight, we'll be taking the aircraft up to 4G and minus 3G and hopefully all the pieces still remain intact at the end of this. So the next phase, um, we're going to integrate the payload and test the payload and qualify the payload. Um, so obviously that we need a month for that and then afterwards we're going to do an another integrated pod flight test. The disaster flight test, we're quite happy with them. We were able to expand the pod flight envelope to 350 knots at 18,000 feet. Uh, there were no adverse effects caused onto the aircraft by the pod and also there were no structural damages to the pod itself. There were no scratches on the outside edge of the pod and also the main reason we went to the flight test was to obtain uh, uh, instrumentation data and also analyze that to be able to proceed to our next flight. And we are quite happy with the data and we are ready to proceed to our next flight. The strategic intent of Inundu is to develop an airborne test and evaluation platform to test uh, EW systems and also to support the industrial development in the radar and EW sector and also to support the SNDF to train the EW operators and the Department of Defense to obtain their strategic independence. If you told me a year and two months ago that we would be flying something like this on a fast jet, I would have laughed at you. Um, but I think the CSIR team that we have working on this, um, both from from the aeronautics competency area as well as radar electronic warfare, they are magicians. They've, they've made it possible in an impossible time.